His team, the Indiana State Sycamores, out of Terre Haute, Indiana, were screwed, bamboozled, robbed what? by the NCAA and the March Madness bracket-making committee. The highest-ranked team in the history of the tournament that didn't make it into the tournament. Mm. Instead, sent to the NIT. What have they done there? Accepted the challenge, embraced it, and have been nothing short of dominant. Put up a hundo! Mm. Basically, every single game, incredible to watch, in front of the program, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Avula. Yeah, Rob! How you doing, dude? I'm doing good. How about you guys? Hey, last time we talked, you're in full uniform. It was awesome. You had just beat the NCAA mm -hmm. three nothing or five nothing out here on the mm -hmm. court, and you said we're excited to be in the NIT. We're going to take this as an opportunity, and it has seemingly been electrifying. When the games were in Terre Haute, building was filled, place was going ape shit. Hinkle, you guys get a massive win. How has the NIT been, and how does the team feel right now, Rob Wave? It's been a lot of fun, I can't lie. Um, I think the team has been excited to be able to play, you know, continue to extend our season as long as possible. And those three games in Terre Haute, you know, were all sellouts. You know, the crowd showed out. and Even the game in Hinkle, it seemed like it was a home game. And so uh, it was a sea of blue out there in the stands. And we're just excited to continue to play one more here. Hopefully go ahead and take it home. How old is – is it a younger – I should know more about the squad that's uh, – we have a meeting, remember? Yep. You guys win national yep. championship. We got a meeting, meeting next week that we need to – we need to have a meeting. Need to have a meeting next week if you guys – how old is the team? A lot of return? How, how, how do we look uh, going forward here? We only got two seniors, so we'd uh, return a lot of the team coming back. Mm. I like that. That NIT win mm -hmm. going in the offseason. Oh, yeah. Huge. I've seen the NIL collective send me a uh, a message. They're like, hey, excited, whatever you need from us or whatever. <laughs> they got a hey, let's go. Big okay. number. Yeah. Oh. Got Kareem yes, Abdul-Jabbar cooking over there. Go ahead, AJ. Is that something you guys talk about, like the experience that this will give you guys heading into next season? Obviously, if you can come out with a championship here, like this is a lot of extra basketball you guys are getting to play together. I can imagine your coach and, and your teammates know how important that might be. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Um, obviously, being able to play as long as you can, you know, for this season with the uh, with a lot of guys that are going to return for next season, just continuing to get that experience with each other and building that chemistry to to kind of carry over into next year is big. You know, obviously, you know, not many teams get to end their season on with a win, and so being able to do that to you know go into next season is huge for us. How do you feel? Body feels good. Body feels amazing. We got the best staff out here. My trainers making sure we're all good. Where are you at right now? Are you at the Chili's right now? Are you like, no, it looks no, like a Chili's not. looks like a Chili's wall up there. Whenever we look, and uh, we we just got out of a, a shoot around, so I'm sitting in a quiet room right now. Oh, nice! How was the shoot around? Everything fall? No balls on the floor? Yeah, uh, all good. We're all locked in, ready to go tomorrow. Now, who do they have? You guys have uh, Seton Hall. Seton, Seton Hall. So that's tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Seven o'clock at Hinkle Field House. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be another good one. The yeah, Hink. Yeah, you're damn right. It will. And uh, your mm -hmm. favorite going in there. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You are not. You, you are the other. Everybody thinks you guys stink. Everybody's been saying this Indiana State team is terrible. Mm -hmm. Connor's got a question for you, Rob. Yeah, Robbie, ha have you kind of mentally prepared for what's going to happen once you guys do win this NIT championship? Like, have you started to practice <laughs> emailing people back like, hey, go to hell. I don't want to go to Kentucky, John Calipari. Have you thought about that <laughs> process? And is that overwhelming at all? Or is that just something that you know comes with being Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Uh, you know, like you said, it kind of comes with it, but, uh, I've just kind of been able to focus on, you know, trying to win this championship first, you know, the team, the team's really big on our meeting next week. And so we want to make sure that we get this job whoa, done before whoa, we whoa, start thinking about next season. I saw a lot of local news people talking about what that meeting could potentially inevitably lead to, you know, a little cart before the horse. Mm -hmm. No deals have been signed. <laughs> no, no. 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 no yeah, yeah, get this job done. Bingo. Bingo. That is right. Just a meeting. Just a meeting. That's all that's happening going forward. Ty has a question for you. Yeah, Rob. Just curious, uh, since the postseason and the NIT started, I mean, I know like your kind of status rose during the entire season, so it's not like you're just coming on the scene right now, but have teams in the NIT guarded you any differently than what you were facing in the regular season, or has it been kind of the same? I mean, obviously last night just dropping your nuts on Utah once again, but have teams guarded you any differently than they did during like league play and during the regular season? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's kind of changed. You know, obviously last game they started in the first coverage, but 
you know, I had 11 quick, and so they kind of had to change something, and so they went to a zone, and so defense teams try to change their defense all the time, just to try to, you know, change the way we play, but I think that's the, the special thing about our system is that, you know, no matter what defense you're in, you know, we always have ways to kind of, you know, counter it, and, you know, it's not just me out there. Ryan had 27, so erupted for 15 in the second, and so Ooh, we're going to go ahead and get the job done no matter what. Hey, great energy on your team, too. A lot of moxie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's on purpose, I assume? Oh, for sure. We got guys with a lot of confidence, guys that know they can compete at any level, and so it just kind of builds together to get to us to where we're at. Love that. D-Butt's got a question for you. Yeah, I want to know, uh, what's the pregame routine? I saw a graphic earlier that said 60% from behind the arc. I don't know if that was last. Like, this is insane. 79% from the field, 6% from behind the arc. I saw that battle you had here in the Thunderdome yeah. with the NCAA. How mm -hmm. much did that prepare you for this run? <laughs> and what's the pregame pre routine for you? First, that Thunderdome game was uh, was a tough one. You know, obviously oh, yeah. NCAA couldn't really compete, but uh, you know, it got me. It got me to where I was at. But, uh, hard, <laughs> what did the NCAA yeah. look like in your eyes? Just like an uh, old yeah. beat up <laughs> shit painter. Or? <laughs> that guy worked yeah, hard. Yeah, but yeah, no. But uh, my my, my pregame routine is kind of just trying to get the shots that I know I'm going to shoot in the game. Uh, you know, uh, picking pops are a lot, you know, getting in the seams and just really, you know, trying to emulate the, the game reps, you know, before we start playing. And I think the biggest thing in my routine is listening to Rob Wave. That, that kind of gets me going. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, that's is. why you like Rob Wave. Yep. So that's, that's why I like Rob Wave. Okay, so that's the same. Any new names since the last time we chatted with you? Uh, not. I mean, I know the Milk Chamberlain's been pretty big lately. That, that one's been pretty out there. Okay. That, that's yeah. a good one. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's what I, I like the internet that. Is the best. The yeah. internet is the absolute best. Ton's got a question uh, for you. Yeah, Robbie, has uh, has Oakley reached out yet? I mean, uh, do we have an NIL, NIL deal for the goggles yet, or what are we working on? Yeah, because these things look sweet. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a set deal yet, but there has been a couple companies. Okay. I know Oakley is one of them. Rexpex was another one. I think, and I think there's another bigger one that uh, reached Whoa. out, but uh, we we haven't signed nothing yet. Ooh. So these are so I would say these are a very modern version of the Rexpex. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. Rexpex had its own genre back in the day. Mm -hmm. Like I think that's how most people would describe the yeah. during sport yes. play. Mm. So Oakley yeah. could potentially come in, you know. For yeah. sure. Oakley could yes, take sir. that thing yeah. over, right? Couldn't they? Right? We'd be open to that. We'd be okay with that. Tint them up. We, we, we could see it, whatever oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it could be tinted, too, yeah. so it's like dark like brown, visor, room. like James <laughs> Harrison. Hey, do you... Because it does reach back. It feels like this should have been the answer the whole time when they were putting those big things yeah. uh -huh. yeah. on everybody James here. Worthy. Yeah, I mean, back in soccer, I felt so bad, like, growing up these kids would have these things on and then I'd hit a ball pretty good and then that would hit them. Oh yeah. And then they'd take it off and it was Painful. like, they just got done shooting two rifles <laughs> with the, uh, you know, like this, these it are very, painful. these are, per it is very painful. These ones yeah. feel good. Do you ever have any issues with them? Uh, no, they're not that bad. You know, I don't get in the face too much, but uh, when you get, when you get an elbow or something like that, it, it will leave a mark. Fog up. These things for you spray them down. Uh, I have them. There, there, there are certain kinds. Like uh, it, it deals with the fog, so it doesn't fog up as bad. Is that Rain-X or what is yeah. there? What? Yeah, yeah. Defog. Shit. Hit on them. What's your major? What are we majoring in? Sport, sport management. Oh yeah, we talked about this. <laughs> yep, yep. What are we gonna get into? What year of school are you are right hey, now? An athletic director. I'm a sophomore. Hoping to be something in sport. I want to coach after, but uh, okay. if not, uh, I'll do I'll do whatever as long as it's within sports. Well, you're gonna play in the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. naturally, yeah, for NBA. sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Probably 10, 15 years. Yeah, career. or go own Lithuania like we talked about with that. Yeah, we talked about playing overseas yeah. where guys go play in different places and yep. actually do that. So you want to get into coaching, huh? Do you think that's a big part of your game that I think people, once we see, when we first see, you know, the big milk Chamberlain on the court, mm -hmm. it's like, look at that big son of a bitch moving back and forth. Beast. <laughs> oh, he's got Rex Max Oakley's glasses on. Holy mm -hmm. shit. What a dream, college yeah. basketball players. Then you're pulling up. And then you're in there and you're dishing and passing. It's like basketball IQ feels like something you would take a lot of pride in, yeah? Yeah, uh, no doubt. Obviously, I'm not the most athletic guy, but I, I think I'm able to to kind of use my IQ to kind of outsmart guys, you know, see see things before they happen and kind of just be able to read everybody. And I think that's what gives me a little bit of an upper hand is just being able to to use that IQ uh, to my advantage. Any other schools offer you? Where where What is the – out of high school, where, what were the opportunities? A lot of my high school uh, offers were mid-major, you know, in the MVC conference, but uh, at the ultimate decision, Indiana State was the right one for me. Okay. When was the growth spurt? Uh, I've been tall my whole life. Uh, I think I got to 6'8 when I was a uh, sophomore in high school, and then 6'10 uh, shortly after that. First dunk was sophomore? 
first dunk was my eighth grade year. That's awesome. Yeah. They have it on film. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do. It's it's actually uh, it's from my AAU team with Mean Streets, but uh, that was a little bit ago. Yeah, an eighth grader Duncan. Mm-hmm. That's Incredible. always Jeez. always going to be a story. Any other yeah. dogs on that squad? Oh, we had a lot of guys. You know, even our my, my final year, we had guys uh, Ty Rogers at Illinois, uh, Jalen Washington at UNC, Kareem Rozier is at Duquesne, AJ oh. Casey was at Miami, Cam Craft, Xavier, uh, Nick Martinelli was at uh, Northwestern, Jeez. RJ Taylor was dogs. at UNI. The whole team, Stacked. whole team was full of them. Yeah, it sounds like it. Are you, speaking of teams being full, is, are you going to recruit Brawny to Indiana State? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but uh, well, I'm going to leave that up to the coaches. They'll deal with the recruiting. That's fine. Hey, you just focus on ball. Yep. Hey, Amen. Big time championship. Just trying to win this championship. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then, you know, win that championship, cut the nets, tear down Terre Haute. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Burn it down. No, no. Well, I mean, no, no physical, just good times. Yeah. Oh, Metaphorically. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metaphorically. Ice cold pops. Down. Yeah, bally hoof. And what? I think that mayor's oh, yeah. about it. I, I think that from what I've learned about the mayor, Mayor will have a good time with you guys. Mm-hmm. That sounds like he, 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 he's big on. He's trying to get you out to the game. Yeah, he's trying to get you guys there. <laughs> I know. He's like, hey, I need you here on this particular day. It's like, hey, bud, I'm literally in a different state. I am so sorry, but I want. Please know that although I am not, I have not been able to be at games. I'm watching more NIT than I've ever watched mm-hmm. in my entire life, and it's strictly because no of you doubt. and the Sycamores. So we appreciate the hell out of you, brother. Good luck the rest of the way. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, hey, let's get that meeting. You know what I mean? Oh, let's get, let's get it done. I'm going to have a big table. Oh, yeah. Put a bunch mm-hmm. of seats around it. Mm-hmm. That's what we're thinking, boys. Have that thing well lit. Yep. Sit at the head of it. Oh. Uh, Maybe a circle. Well, a cream at the bar sit at the head of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Avila. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, local news. A lot of local news is like. Saw uh, that. We'd like to run a report that you were going to be paying every Indiana State player this amount of money if they win the NIT championship. I was like, whoop, no, 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 no. Almost yeah. got a. <laughs> almost got a school kicked out of the NCAA for that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Never said anything. Almost got a school kicked. Literally. So, yeah, in, Indy. They, yeah. Yeah, uh, you, Indy. That kid, yep. baseball player. And then yeah. when he graduated, um, he hit us up and was like, hey, can this happen? And then what we were being told is like, you, Indy, potentially faces some yeah. real They'll, real put, shit they'll put that on pro Some basically. real yeah. shit for it. So it's like a tough spot, you know, like a really, which is bullshit. Yeah. Everything yeah. is performance based. Yes, that is that is what NIL is. It is a, but you can't say if they win you'll get this because right. then it's pay for play. Exactly, and it's like oh, okay. incentivizing. Okay, did I see the gro- or Golki, uh <laughs> with Buffalo Wild Wings before winning? No, in the- I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, I get it. I get what you're saying. I love what Buffalo Wild Wings did, but also I like the fact that the boys in the Sycamore Tree over there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm like we got it. Yeah, yeah. they get it. It's like, oh, it's a good team. Good Larry Bird going to games or what? Is it, has Larry been anything? Hmm? I don't know. He said he hasn't talked to Larry. Yeah. I don't know if Larry Bird's rolling out of bed for the NIT. That's just me. I, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> That's a safe assumption. Yeah. I mean, you know, guy, guy won three straight MVPs. He went to the he went to the NCAA March Madness tournament gold championship, medal. gold medal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he he basically took the Celtics back to the promised land. Yeah, but the sycamore trees are about to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah they're yep. about to do that. Again. I'm pumped about it too. Yeah.